to my youtube channel so student this is the sixth video in my youtube channel students thank you for your cooperation and thank you for subscribing me so please subscribe like and share my videos student in previous classes we have discussed about our environment our environment we have discussed about the human environment our natural environment and many more things but student today we are going to discuss about not only the surf what is happening on the surface of the earth but also we are going to discuss about what is happening inside the earth surface yes student it is quite interesting to know about what is happening inside the earth surface students there are many more things are happening on the earth surface which we can see from our surrounding for examples we can see mountains plain plateaus hill river and valleys these are all above the earth surface but do you know that there are lot of things happening inside the earth surface also and the earth surface is not at all stable yes as you know that the earth surface may be it seems to be stable but it is always in move as you know in the previous class like in class 6 we know that the earth is continuously rotating as well as revolving around the sun so for that we know that earth is not at all stable but the earth interior also not at all stable so how the earth interior is not at all stable let's discuss it in this chapter inside our restless earth and rocks and minerals yes our in interior of earth is quite restless there is always many more things are happening inside the interior of earth we may not be able to know all these movements but sometimes students we will we get to know about it when there is earthquake and when there is any landslides we are able to know yes there is something inside the interior of the earth which is responsible for the such type of movements or vibration on the earth surface so student in this chapter we are going to discuss about the interior of the earth different layers of the interior of the earth like crust mantle core their composition the and their depth and everything not only that how they form and we are also going to discuss about the rocks about how the different type of rocks are formed and how these rocks are formed by the different natural physical processes and how the rock cycle is occurs we are going to discuss all this in this chapter so students let's start from the interior of the earth and with the help of a diagram so student let's start so student as we have uh, discussed about the introduction of the chapter inside our restless earth rocks and minerals so let's discuss about the interior of the earth the most and important layer of the earth surface is the crust see here you can see the crust the crust is the thinnest layer of the interior of the earth the thinnest one okay so let's discuss about it is the most outermost layer of the earth so crust is the outermost layer of the earth it is the thinnest layer of the earth it is the thickness of the crust vary from place to place so it is varying from or range from 5 km to 35 km and most importantly the total crust the total crust is divided into two parts or two layers okay continental crust and oceanic crust okay let me show you what is continental crust and what is oceanic crust listen let's see this one is the crust okay so the upper one is the continental and the lower one is the oceanic mostly you see here i am doing a diagram
सो स्टूडेंट दिस वन दिस वन इज द ओशनिक and this one is the continental okay so this one is the continental crust and this one is the oceanic crust so the crust consist of two layers oceanic crust and continental crust so let's discuss about the oceanic crust oceanic crust consist of what darker and denser basaltic rock means mostly in the oceanic crust we have darker and more denser materials okay these materials mostly form of what basalt rock okay and uh, this mostly in this layer mostly in the oceanic crust you will get sima or mostly this is composed of silicon and uh, magnesium okay that's why silicon and magnesium that's why it is also known as sima next thing is about this it is less continuous not at all continuous okay it is less continuous layer and mostly it is the base of the continental crust and it is also the base for the ocean here you can see this is the ocean water so it is provide the base for the ocean water as well as it provide the base for the continental crust so what things we get to know about oceanic crust oceanic crust is more denser oceanic crust is more darker oceanic crust is made up of basaltic rock and oceanic crust is made up of silicon and magnesium that's why it is also known as sima and oceanic crust is less continuous in nature and mostly it provide base for the continental crust as well as provide base for the oceans and sea so let's discuss about the continental crust okay continental crust is what now it is the upper layer or lies just above the oceanic crust okay it is what less denser it is made up of lighter material it is what mostly form of igneous igneous rock okay and mostly here you will get cl cl means silicon and aluminium so it is mostly composed of silicon and aluminium it is discontinuous in nature means not continuous at all and it is a broken part most important thing about the continental crust is what it is a broken part means it is just like it is it just like our skull our skull is what they are attached with each other with some piece of bones or skull like that the continental crust is not at all continuous it having some small 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 plates it having 26 plates 26 plates and these from these 26 plates six are major tectonic plates these plates are normally known as tectonic plates so six are major tectonic plates and 20s are minor tectonic plates and these tectonic plates are floating over the what floating over the continental crust uh, sorry oceanic crust and the asthenosphere because they are lighter mostly the crust is lighter than the mantle okay it is made up of lighter material than the mantle that's why the crust is floating over the mantle okay and uh, this is all about the crust so crust is one of the most important layer because this provide the base for all human being okay the continental crust and ocean is provide the base for the oceanic crust is provide the base for the oceans and continent so this is all about the crust next we are going to discuss about mantle mantle is the layer lies between the crust and the core it is about 2900 km depth here you can see the mantle okay this layer from here to here it is the mantle it is about 2900 km thick and the temperature also vary according to the depth of the mantle or depth of the mantle that is uh, 100 degree celsius to 2200 degree celsius 
मेंटल अगेन हैविंग टू पार्ट्स द अपर मेंटल एंड द लोअर मेंटल द अपर मेंटल इज नोन एज एस्थेनोस्फियर एंड दिस इज द लोअर मेंटल द अपर मेंटल इज मेड अप ऑफ वॉट सॉरी द लोअर मेंटल इज मेड अप ऑफ डेंसर मेटेरियल एंड द अपर मेंटल एंड रिजिड and the upper mantle is called as thenosphere as i have told you it is made up of comparatively less denser material and mostly it is range from 250 km 100 degree 100 km to 250 km and uh, this asthenosphere having some magma okay some liquid material within it and it conduct conventional current so what is conventional current conventional current is occur due to the movement of particle due to variation in temperature so temp due to temperature variation when the particles move may move it produces current this is called conventional current so it conduct conventional current due to the molten magma and high temperature and this conventional current produce a huge amount of energy okay here i am going to discuss you about little bit about the crustal movement crustal movement as i have told you before that uh, continental crust is moving and it is or the tectonic plates are moving these are moving because of the conventional current which is produced within the mantle okay this conventional current is so high in amount that's why it responsible or it responsible for the movement of the tectonic plates these tectonic plates are continuously moving but the movement is so slow or uh, and that's why we are not able to recognize it it is about 2 to 3 inches within a year but dear student this movement the movement of this tectonic plate is responsible for formation of various physical features over the earth surface like the mountains the uh, mountain fold mountain the fault and the valleys all these are formed due to the movement of tectonic plate due to the conver con convergent divergent and transfer movement of tectonic plate this will discuss in the next chapter so uh, this is all about the what mantle let's discuss about the core core is the innermost layer you can see here core is the innermost layer in the interior of the earth and the core is also known as barysphere it is the denser made up of denser material and it has also two parts the outer core and the inner core the outer core is uh, made up of denser material whereas the inner core having the molten magma okay and the temperature of the core is about 3000 degree celsius to 6000 degree celsius and uh, the depth of the core is about 3500 km so student this is all about the interior of the earth so it is quite interesting to know about what is there inside the earth and today student we have discussed about the things or the layers which are inside the earth so it is um, these are the crust mantle and the core so this is all about this next we will discuss about the formation of rock and the rock cycle thank you